This next guest is a true survivor who not only survived coronavirus, but she actually survived cancer and get this, the Spanish flu. My name is Joy Chappell and I am 102 years old. I have survived Spanish flu, two bouts of cancer and COVID-19. My mother was born on January 18th, 1918. And 11 months later, in November of that year, she, her mother, and her older brother came down with the Spanish flu, which was the dreaded 1918 pandemic. My mother was so ill that when they changed her diaper, they didn't pin it because she didn't move. She was that sick. She was not expected to live. Her mother was not expected to live. And lo and behold, they survived. And I think that gave me a lifelong immunity to almost every other germ. Apparently, I am very strong. Her only illness really was in the early 1980s when she contracted breast cancer and then colon cancer for which she had surgery and chemotherapy. And in both situations, she said, well, it was unpleasant, but I got through it. That was several years ago, and I've been fine ever since. In May, my mom had a low fever. She didn't feel too well. The fever spiked. They took her to the hospital where she had a COVID test. She did test positive for COVID. COVID-19 is like having a pesky cold. I was not very ill. It lasted a couple of days. When she returned from the hospital, she got off the gurney and said, I feel great, when's lunch? I just keep going on and on. Joining us via Zoom is Julia and our 102-year-old mother, Jerry. Hey, Julia and Jerry, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, it's our pleasure. Jerry, what a remarkable story. How does it feel to survive so many hurdles and still be here feeling strong? Oh, I feel great about it. Wonderful. So, Julia, how was it for you when your mom had COVID-19, understanding how deadly it can be for people of a certain age and, and medical history? Well, of course, my sister and I were concerned. Um, you know, she's no spring chicken, obviously. <laughs> but uh, we knew that she was in good hands. And also, her symptoms were rather minor. So we were guardedly optimistic. Where do you think your mom gets all this strength? I mean, obviously, to live to be 102, that is not uh, for the weak. So where do you think she finds this, you know, this inner strength? She is an ardent optimist. And she has always said, just don't take things too seriously because by tomorrow, it'll be something different. I love that. I mean, that is, what a great message uh, from where, where we are right now. And Jerry, what advice would you give us, the country, given the tough times that we're in right now? What would you say to us? Don't sweat it. <laughs> Just look on the bright side of everything. That was a natural tendency of mine. So uh, it was no problem to be an optimist perpetually. I love that. That's a message for all of us, being optimistic, staying positive, and realizing, you know what? Nothing lasts forever. Julia and Jerry, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, inspirational. Stay well. We look forward to when you're 103. Come see us again. 103? <laughs> yes. 123. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right. Thank you, guys. Talk to you later. Thank you.